both these teams hungry for a win in this one. Early on, Pope knocking on the door. Quarterback Zane Robbie plows his way into the end zone. Pirates on top, 7-0. Now, Shiner strikes back. Quarterback Ryan Peterson breaks the goal line on this 19-yard run to tie it at 7. Then it's you-know-who, Dalton Brooks, showing why he's one of the best in the nation. Top 100 recruits. And it's a 63-yard touchdown run to give Shiner a 14-7 lead at the break. Pope down seven until Matthew Bunn takes the rock and piles across the goal line on the short run. So Pirates go for two, and they go with the Philly special on the reverse. It's Gabriel Solansky to the quarterback, Zane Robbie. Both up 15-14. More Poet and more Matthew Bunn. He takes it in for about 20 yards out. Around the left side, big hit, but he scores. Extra point, no good. Both 21-14. Now, just seconds left. Shiner down seven. Dalton Brooks dives over the pile. 21-20, and they go for two. Yes, they're going to go for two. Here he is, working his way around the edge. Follow me now. This is to get into the end zone around the corner. So he's in. And it was a heck of a game. Because Shiner would do what they do best. Winning football games in the clutch. 22-21 the final score. A big decision to go for too late in that ball game. And Travis Buckner was with Dalton Brooks. The victorious Shiner Comanche after this one. The Shiner Comanches with a huge come from behind victory to take this one 22 to 21. And we're joined now by the star of the game, Dalton Brooks. And Dalton, uh, talk about the game that you had 198 yards on 21 carries, two touchdowns, and obviously a very key two point conversion. Uh, you know, you know, it's it's homecoming, it's home field. You know, you got to come out here and have fun. And when the bands start playing, that's that's when you feel it. So at the time when both bands was playing, I was like, either it's now or never. And then it's now. So we had to make it happen. Less than two minutes left, y'all were down by seven. You knew that was the drive to possibly win the game. Just walk me through the mentality at that point. Uh, you know, it's, it's really, I'm going to be honest with you, just yelling, you got to yell at your teammates sometimes. And, you know, you have to make them dig. You have to make them dig down deep. You have to make them want it. So that's what, that's what we did as a, as a whole senior group. And you see how it came out. I would think about 90% of the stadium thought you were going to be tackled for a loss in that two-point conversion, but somehow you kept your feet going. Uh, what was it that just gave you the ability to to get into the end zone and give you all the lead? Uh, you know, I, I, I say, I'm, I'm honestly say experience. You know, them them coming and diving at my feet I, through the whole game, once you do that enough, people start to figure it out. And I figured it out how they were tackling me and just keep going backwards and turn on the juice. Do you think this can be a, a point in the season to look at and kind of start going in the right direction for this team? Uh, yes, yes. You know, everybody can say that, but you never know. But, yes, I think it is. And, you know, this team we have here, we can have something special, but we have to keep building it. Dalton, well, congratulations on, on the big win and obviously on the big night. We sure do appreciate you taking the time with us. Again, that was Shiner Star running back Dalton Brooks on the 22-21 win over the Poth Pirates. And Shiner moves to 2-1 and one now on the season, and they're building some steam going forward.